de ejecutiva, acción que él puede como presidente para darle más, hacer más sensato las leyes migratorias para las familias de este país. Y en eso van a haber oportunidades para personas que buscan ajustar su estatus, quedarse aquí en los Estados Unidos o llegar aquí por medio de su familia que está ya aquí en los Estados Unidos. Pero segundo y muy importante lo que está diciendo el presidente es que ya es tiempo de que los que están tratando de defraudar a nuestras familias inmigrantes que vayan a la cárcel, que no se queden aquí y que dejen que el dinero que han ganado esas familias inmigrantes quede en las bolsas de, esos, de esas familias para que usen en una manera justa para la familia y cuando es necesario para ajustar su estatus. Pero pa para eso te te tenemos palabra del gobierno federal, tenemos palabra de los que abogan para los inmigrantes para decirles lo que pueden hacer. Pero antes de eso quiero presentarles a una colega. I'd like to first, before we go to our, our representatives from the federal government and our advocacy groups, go to our colleagues in Congress and I'd like to begin with Congresswoman Judy Chu here from Los Angeles. Good morning. I am joining my colleagues, Congressmember Javier Becerra and Congressmember Lucio Roba Allard for this very, very important message. I urge the media to tell the immigrants to be aware of potential scammers, con artists who might take advantage of innocent people by giving them false promises before proposed changes to our immigration regulations take effect. You know, we all really want comprehensive immigration reform. And I am so grateful that, that before that happens, President Obama has provided some relief to immigrants. He has okayed prosecutorial discretion in reviewing all of the pending 300,000 deportation cases that are out there. And these factors could include such things as longtime permanent residency, being minors or elderly, or being in the country since childhood. However, This plan is in the pilot phase, and it's only been implemented in Denver and Baltimore, and is just now arriving in Los Angeles. And the, the ratios of prosecutorial discretion have been fairly low. For instance, one in six cases in Denver, and one in 10 cases in Baltimore. And in fact, we hope that ICE will increase its use of prosecutorial discretion here in Los Angeles, where 12,000 cases are pending. Well, it is really important that if there is a notario or a counselor promising to you that they can halt a deportation in exchange for money under this program, they are probably lying. People should report these type of offers immediately to the authorities. The other action taken by the administration last month was one to propose the rules for American citizens petitioning for their 